The starting point for our discussion here is going to be a service called VPC, or Virtual Private Cloud. The VPC resembles an isolated networking space for a customer on AWS Cloud. Customers can start creating one or more VPCs to start using them to host their launched resources. This allows for resource segregation and allows for controlling the boundaries of access. The VPC is tied to one AWS region only and cannot span multiple regions, but can span multiple AZs within that region. Now, imagine a scenario where you have two VPCs, each one of them has a set of resources launched in it. Now, based on what has been discussed in the previous slide, what do you think would happen if a resource in VPC1 tries to communicate with another resource on VPC2? Would this traffic be allowed? Well, every VPC has its own isolated network space that is segregated from other VPCs. So, definitely, this traffic is not going to be allowed. What if I need this traffic to be permitted? Imagine that you are a customer who got two VPCs for resources in two different branches, the main one and a remote branch. In the main branch, you have an active directory server, and in the remote branch, you got some Windows machines that need to communicate with their active directory, which is located in the main branch, in another VPC. How can I allow that traffic to happen? This can succeed if you configure the two VPCs for VPC peering. If your VPCs have non-overlapping IPs, you can configure between them a VPC peering session. This would permit the resources at both ends to be able to communicate directly together.